اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Introduction to SPSS. In this session, I'm going to introduce SPSS. SPSS, Statistical Package for Social Sciences, is a software package used for statistical analysis in social sciences. It can be used to perform a wide range of data analysis tasks, including descriptive statistics, inferential statistics, data visualization, and much more. Now when to use SPSS? Now you are working with large data sets and need to perform complex statistical analysis. You need to generate tables and charts to present your data in a cleaner and concise way. You need to conduct statistical tests such as t-tests, ANOVA and chi-square or correlation and regression or maybe exploratory factor analysis. So here are a few examples as to when you can use SPSS. Now let's say you want to summarize the data. Now in order to summarize the data, you can use descriptive statistics that are used to summarize, organize and present data in a way that is easy to understand. They can be in the form of table or charts that include bar chart, histogram, pie chart or many other different forms of charts. They are used to describe the main features of the data set such as the average, the spread and the overall shape of the data. That is finding out the range of the data, the variance in the data, the skewness kurtosis, the minimum, maximum, mean, median or mode. Now if you want to assess the relationship between variables, you can use correlation analysis. Let's say I want to find out whether with increase in stress, is there an increase or decrease in organizational performance or Employee performance. You can assess the variance or change in the dependent variable explained by one or more independent variables. In that case, you will use regression analysis. For instance, I want to assess how different variables, let's say organizational culture and organizational commitment, influences employees' performance. In this case, I'm going to use regression analysis. I want to identify the differences in a variable between two groups. Let's say I want to find out whether marks obtained differ between two sections, section A and section B. I want to find out whether a particular medicine or its effect differs between control and experimental group. In that case, I'm going to use either independent samples t-test or man whitney u-test. Now the use of independent samples t-test or man whitney u-test depends on the distribution of that variable in which I want to assess the differences. If it's normally distributed, you are going to use independent samples t-test. If there is non-normal distribution, you are going to use man whitney u-test which is a non-parametric alternative of independent samples t-test. For example, you want to identify the differences in a variable but in this case, you've got more than two groups. You are going to use one way ANOVA for normal distribution and Kruskal Wallace for non-normal distribution. Or you want to identify the differences in a variable based on an intervention. That is, let's say there is a program, a statistical program. So you record the people's statistical knowledge before the program and then they take the program and then you record the participants' knowledge of statistics after the program. Now you want to compare both the scores. You can use paired sample t-test for normal distribution and Wilcoxon signed rank test for non-normal distribution in the score. So here the normal distribution assessment is for this particular variable in which I want to assess the differences. Now these are the few examples in which you can use SPSS. Now how does SPSS look? So if you open SPSS, this is how it will look. You will have cells here. It looks similar to an Excel sheet. And this is your data view. But before entering the data, in the data view, you are going to define your variables. Now we are going to talk about this in greater detail as to how to enter the data, define your variables before entering the data in coming sessions. Thank you very much.